Hey, it's Brittany, and I'm here at Port Orleans French Quarter. I did Riverside a couple weeks ago, and I'm super excited to come here and do French Quarter for you guys. I've never been here, so I'm super, super excited to walk through and see what this resort has to offer. I'm really excited. Again, this is a resort I've never been to. So I'm super excited to explore with you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe, and let's go explore. So far, this resort is super easily laid out. You get dropped off the buses uh, here, and then this is the front. And then parking is just literally right behind me for the very, very front. So let's cross the street and head in. And I already love this like architecture style. It's so pretty, like New Orleans. Well, that's the point, but <laughs> it's so pretty in here. But yeah, let's head inside and check out the inside. And then we can uh, walk around. Oh, it's so pretty already. There's a fountain in here. Wow, this is really pretty. Ooh, that AC though. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, to our right is where you check in when you're here staying. But first I wanna check out this fountain. Hold on, let's look at this awesome fountain. And the medallions up there. It's just really cool. Okay, so check-ins over here. We're gonna walk this way. So you guys just check in in concierge over here and then over here is their gift shop and the arcade I see some families in the arcade so we won't go all the way in there but i'll show you guys just this is the arcade it's kind of small they also have some bathrooms over here and some fuel rod exchanging stations if you're looking for that and then here is the gift shop for the resort and i know they have some very specific merch in here oh and you can also send mail really awesome um normal park merch and then their merch is up here the beignet stuff which is real cute also sell like the cafe du monde stuff and tiana's cookbook a beignet coffee mug yeah these are really cute beignet all day Super cute. I wish they had the ears here though. I know they have the beignet ears at Disneyland. So that's sad, but I like that you can get the lounge fly here. That's really cool. Let's see, Scat Cats Club. Love that. I want to go back and go to Scat Cats uh, with some friends. Actually some really cute merchandise here. Port Orleans with Tiana. French Quarter Half Zip. Let's see, more Tiana. This is pretty. Look at this cup. I love that. And this awesome French Quarter like tumbler. And this awesome Tiana shirt as well as this blue shirt. Oh, hold on. Okay, I can't show you the blue shirt. <laughs> hold on a second. Blue shirt. Someone just said it was raining, so we'll see how that goes. That is the blue shirt for, and they are 34, just like every other shirt here is. But yeah, that is um, the merch specifically. Oh, and we have some pins. That's the merch specifically here for this resort. So just like every um, resort store, you have some places you can get some snacks, some things if you've missed them in the parks. Um, a bunch of like Cajun and Creole gumbo sauce and praline mix and some gumbo because we're in the French Quarter. So, but all this stuff, like toiletries if you forgot those. Oh my gosh, it's pouring down right now. <laughs> Lovely. Um, it's all here, <laughs> that's hilarious. I have an umbrella, we're good. Um, some donuts and bread and stuff, and some biggie ice cream. Yeah, it's pouring. <laughs> a little view outside where it's raining. But yeah, it's all right, we'll figure it out. I also have my waterproof shoes on today, so we are good. You can also get some alcohol in here as well. Oh, here's some more pins. This little pin over here. Yeah, really cool though. Nice array of stuff um, for you to purchase. If you uh, forgot anything from the parks. Which is very nice to have as a backup. Definitely does not suck. So let's head back out into the lobby and see what else they have to offer here at this resort, which I know they have a few more things. So let's go see it. 
Okay, we're gonna come out of the store and take a right. Everyone's gonna be in the lobby now because of the rain. Um, the fountain is to our left. The medallions are strictly above us. We're gonna go over here to the float work section in the bar and cafe. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is the Sasagula Float Works and Food Factory. And they have a Mardi Gras pool bar, Scat Cat Club, and then the food factory, which is the, um, it's the quick serve here at this resort, which it's beautiful. Oh, it smells delicious in here. Here's some things you can get at the quick serve. It smells absolutely delicious in here. But I like the decor. It's really pretty, really cool. Definitely have some things like I see like a little king's cake, um, bunt cake you can get. Just some fun like New Orleans style stuff in here which is really nice. And then we'll come over here. Oh look at this. This is beautiful. All the masks. Absolutely stunning. And this is this cat's, Scat's Cat Club Cafe where you can get some beignets, drinks, cappuccinos. I'm guessing it's like coffees and stuff. So if you want regular beignets you can get them there for like quick serve if uh, Scat's Class Club is not open. And it does not open until five o'clock. Um, five, I believe. So yeah, we'll go in here real quick. Take a quick look-see. It's actually quite big in here. It's so nice. So yeah, coffees, beignets, and they have a Mickey-shaped beignets, just like the ones at Disneyland, which is really nice. But here's the prices for you. So seven seventy-nine for three, eleven twenty-nine for six. Yeah, so some really cool stuff. And then I'm guessing Scat's Cat is just over here in these doors. But it's closed right now. So we are not gonna go that way. But yeah, more restrooms, telephones. And we're back out here. Here we go, five to 12 every day. Scat's Cat. You can also make mosaics too, it costs money. That's an option here as well. But yeah, this, this is a really nice, clean, beautiful lobby. I really, really enjoy it. Not too big either, but plenty of stuff for you to do and to eat. I love it. For wayfinding purposes, that is where I entered. I'm across the way. The fountain's here. The medallions are above me. And we're gonna go out these doors towards the pool. So let's see if it's still raining. I do have my umbrella out just in case. It's gonna be pretty humid. Okay, it stopped raining at the moment or it's slow enough that I don't feel it so over here you can also enter the gift shop this is oh it's raining a little bit okay let me get my umbrella out just because the camera can't really get wet just cuz I don't want to lose the camera um, this is also the entrance to the quick serve area over here to your left and then it starts with the buildings and such which I'll show you the big map of Port Orleans, and then you also add into the arcade over here as well. So this is gonna show us both sides, but we're gonna only look at French Quarter. So they're gonna be literally similar to Riverside, where the neighborhoods look the exact same, except for there's no, there might be a pool, one of the, kind of looks like a fountain, but it looks like there's just one main pool, and then all these little like neighborhoods. So I'll show you a few of the neighborhoods as you walk around the pool, but it's gonna be the same as you go through. So I won't bore you and go through like every single section of this resort because it's not huge, but I also just don't want to bore you guys. But we'll go look at some cool stuff because the courtyards here are really cool as well. So let's head over here. They have some games, which is really nice. The pool is this way. I can show you the recreational activities. This is such a cute resort. I love the theming here. It's fabulous. Here are some of the recreational activities going on today and this week. And then we have, so the lobby is straight behind me. Um, we have some really cool like characters out here in a playground so kiddos can play. We have these cool dudes just hanging out, being awesome. And then we have some more over here that leads you to the pool. This is really cool. The uh, atmosphere here is fantabulous. And then we have the pool bar out here. The Mardi Gras is to our left. And then the pool, which is very themed. Wow. It's right here. It's open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. 
it is cool. Very cool. So we're actually gonna go to our right. Some restrooms over here. Look at this splash pad. How cool is that? That's amazing. And there's a slide. It looks like it's like a dragon, sea dragon water slide. There's some kiddos over there, so I don't want to show you guys. Um, but maybe I'll show you the backside. So there's some construction. But this is basically what the buildings are going to be like here. Very reminiscent of that, like, obviously French Quarter style with the iron railings. Same-ish. You know, that's, that's the vibe that's going to be carried throughout this entire resort. And it's beautiful. But we're going to walk down here. Here is that little... I'll show you a little bit of the slide. It's that, like, dragon thing. That's the, that's the water slide, it looks like. Or maybe it's just attached to it. I, I don't know. I think it's the... No, that's the water slide. I think it's the tongue. We're going to come over here because you have access to um, a dock over here and it'll take you different places. So it takes you to Disney Springs and then Riverside Resort, which is the other side of this resort, which is Port Orleans Riverside. So that's really nice to have as well um, to just be able to get to places a little bit easier if you so choose. There's also a running trail here, which is fantastic. And we're just gonna keep going this way. I wanna show you guys some of these neighborhoods. Um, it's just the architecture is really, really pretty here. So today the resort launch is operating from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. to, ooh, it's windy, to uh, Springs. So you can see that from that little see much board sign. But yeah, it looks like they're doing some construction on this building. So we're going to keep walking over here, but there's some really cool, I don't know, it's just really cool the way that they've decorated and themed this. I think they did such a good job. Yeah, you can just walk around along the river, which is also beautiful. Wow, look at this. This is stunning. Yeah, I might check out some more neighborhoods, like more sections, just because I think this one is still under construction. As long as it's not gonna pour down on me, I can walk around a little bit. But yeah, so it's three stories, uh, very similar to the other section, Riverside. Um, lots of rooms at this resort. Okay, it looks like they're doing some maintenance over here. So I don't even know if this section's like officially open for people to stay in, which is very quiet back here. But yeah, you can see I'm like surrounded by all of these rooms. But yeah, so usually there's like a fountain or a water feature in between the rooms. Um, so you have something to look at. And there's the main pool. We're just gonna walk a little bit around and walk over to this fountain. That doesn't seem to be on because I think it's under construction. Or this area is, but this is gorgeous. Again, the theming is just really magical. It'd be beautiful with the fountain on. But yeah, it's really cool. But it looks like, yeah, this area is closed, <laughs> clearly. So let me walk back over to the pool and go over to the other side. So I'll meet you guys back at the pool. For wayfinding purposes, we actually, if we came out of the lobby, which is right there, and took a right, this is the section we were in. So it really, I mean, we would just walk down this path, past the pool and took a right. So really not that like big of a walk. Didn't take me that long. Um, so now we're back at the play area and the pool is just through those, like that little section over here and the lobby is back to our left. We're gonna keep walking straight to the other sections. I actually stopped to take a picture here because there's no one here right now, so hold on. All right, I snapped my photo. We're gonna keep walking. But yeah, so this is the quick serve on my left, just to let you know where you guys are. And then the pool is to my right. And then just like the other place, right down there is the boat launch. But we're gonna keep walking because I wanna see these neighborhoods. Because the architecture is really cool and I like love it. So we're gonna go over here and just walk a little bit this way because it's all gonna look relatively the same. But there's definitely some cool little features like that fountain 
as you walk through here. So we're just gonna walk a little bit farther. This is like an open courtyard, like for weddings, parties. I guess I have the fountains off right now. That's okay. But yeah, this is like a big open space over here. Good for kiddos to run around, get some energy out. Similar, similar situation with all the rooms. So like I said, the rooms, it's kind of gonna look the same throughout the resort. So yeah, but this is really nice, like open grassy space, I think. Oop, my camera was weird. Sorry about that. But let's just keep walking to the right a little bit. So this is building four. Let's see. So yeah, the building's gonna be numbered like that. Uh, like you see this building four over here. And there are streets, like street signs that show like what street you're on. Just so you can find your way around the resort. But this side of the resort is not as big and expansive as uh, Riverside is. So I don't think you guys will have a problem finding your way here. Uh, Riverside is just, there's a lot of neighborhoods, a lot of like, just a lot to find. But here it's, you know, relatively close. Um, parking is over here to our left. We're gonna keep going down here. I see, ooh, something with fountains on, <laughs> which is hilarious. Yeah, these are the street signs I'm telling you guys about. Uh, you can see kind of where you are. And then they also have them on the floor. Which is also such a cute touch. Wow, this is a gorgeous, yeah, so no pools, just the main pool and fountains are like in the center of these buildings. So this is so pretty. I love this. And then like I said, parking out there. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I really, I really like the layout of this resort. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, the uh, all-star resorts in the way of like, it's really easy to access everything. I'm like, you're not gonna be walking. Like Riverside is amazing, I've stayed there, but you are gonna be walking a little bit far to get to the front. They do have buses that can take you but if sometimes you just want to walk, because why not? But over here, you're not going to be walking like a whole hike to get to the front or to get to the back to the boats. So I think this is a really convenient resort to stay at. I think it's beautiful. I mean, it's classy. We'll go over here to the left a little bit. Um, but yeah, I really, what's through here? Can I walk through here? Hold on, we're going to go straight back here. I think this should take me to the river. Yeah, really cool. Oh, I love this, this is beautiful. Yeah, so this takes me straight back to the river. Like I said, you can walk along the river. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, look at this little courtyard out here. Look at how beautiful this is. I really enjoy this resort. This is really quiet, quaint. Having the river is a really nice touch too. But yeah, I think that's the last building over there. So, and this is building six. So we're gonna walk back where we came and then I'm gonna walk back towards the lobby. But no, this is a really beautiful resort. I'm impressed. It's nice. I like it, it smells really good too. Here's kind of a look into a room. They're cleaning it. So the windows are, or the curtains are open. Yeah, pretty nice. Nice resort, nice rooms, really good vibes. I think it's a really cool, um, very easily walkable, like I said before. Very nice, Got a Cats Club, seems like a really good vibe. They are gonna have some different beignets for different times of the year, so Halloween beignets are coming out soon, and I think they have some uh, Christmas time ones stuff like that at the Scat Cat, so, and they'll change the jazz up to be like Christmassy at Christmas time. So definitely like some, just some really cool, fun, ambiance type things that you can really only find here, which is beautiful. So yeah, I actually like this little pathway, this little road. Like I said, totally not hard to walk at all. I really enjoy the size of this resort. I'd stay here. This is beautiful. This is fun. I very much like it. 
made it back to the pool area. It's nice that it stopped raining. It like rained for a second and then stopped. Is this a hot tub over here? Let me explore. Let me explore. I think this is a hot tub. Like I said, the pool hours are 10 a.m. to 11. Yes, it is a spa. And there are some people back there. My bad if you saw them. Um, but yeah, that is the hot tub. And it looks like there's like a ECV lift that you can go into it too. And then this is the laundry, which is right next to the pool. It's a little bit of pools over here to our left. So you have everything you can need here at this resort, which is absolutely stunning. Yeah, the water slide is the creature, which is really cute. And there's like a shell over here. I know you guys can see the shell. That's really cool. I love that. Sorry, I had to recenter my gimbal. Um, yeah, I do really love this resort. I think we're gonna head back up to the front. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything in the lobby. And then I think that's gonna be it. It's also just gorgeous out here going back into the lobby with the palm trees and the medallions and just like the characters. It's really cool. I really enjoy uh, the beauty of this resort. And with that, that's gonna do it for me here at Port Orleans uh, French Quarter. It was gorgeous. I loved it. I definitely wanna stay here. Comment down below if you wanna stay here as well. Thanks for watching the like button and subscribe. See you guys real soon, bye.